Hello and welcome to the unboxing of a watch that I described two weeks ago in a previous video. And this watch has been bought as a gift for Christmas and it had to come in at less than £150. And sure enough from Amazon this was uh, 124 whereas the retail is 169 And in that video you can see how I got to the conclusion that this was the watch I should buy. So without further ado, let's open this up and do a quick unboxing. Obviously it's not going to be much of a review because it's not a watch for me, but we'll do our best and just have a quick look at it and perhaps compare it to my own solar powered watch that I got a few months ago. So a big box and a little box inside. Yep, that's no quite surprise. So there it is, let's move that out of the way. And here we go. Let's just zoom in a wee bit. And this Seiko is model number SNE 391P1. And it's a 43mm solar powered quartz watch. And what I'll do is I'll put a spec up of this watch in the video now as I'm opening it up. So let's just get this solar tape off and get the thing open. Now it's not a watch for me, so I can't really give you a long-term review, but what we can do is just do a very quick look at the watch and uh, unboxing too. So here we go, there's the outer card done, quite a light watch. There's a quite a thick instruction manual uh, guarantee. I believe the warranty of this watch is two years, which isn't bad going, is it? And here's the instruction manual in lots, lots, lots of different languages. It's a pretty simple watch, so I don't suppose it's going to confuse me too much. So let's move this out of the way and get to the meat of the matter. Let's just zoom in a wee bit. It's quite dark in here today, but we'll do our best. And here we go. And yeah, quite a nice little box. And this box looks to be quite similar to the one I got when I bought my similar solar powered Pulsar chronograph quartz watch a few months ago. And in fact, I suspect that the movement in this is very similar to the movement in this Seiko because Pulsar are owned by Seiko. But that's quite difficult to work out because they use different codes and there's not much information about these watches out there on the internet. But anyway, let's move him aside for now and let's get this one opened up. And so far so good. Now obviously we're in artificial light here so this may not show up as it does in real life. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll shoot some more video tomorrow in daylight to give you a good idea of what this blue looks like. But right now, yeah, it looks pretty damn good to me. A very good looking watch. It's got big markers there with the loom so it should show up quite well at night. Um, sadly this bezel doesn't turn but I knew that when I bought it. So let's get this off here and have a closer look. Um, here we see, no battery required. Yeah, it's even got the same 100 meter water resistance as the Pulsar and the same hard lex crystal. So again, we actually share the same uh, basic route. So what can we do? Well, it's covered in cellophane, so I don't particularly want to undo everything. I'll let that to be done by my brother who's what this is for. Um, what we can do is just take off this bit here, see if I can manage it. It's got a deployment clasp, as you can see, with two pushes, quite similar to my Takarira, in fact. I just want to get all this cardboard out of the way. Now, obviously, this watch cost me £124, so I shouldn't really expect Rolex quality here, but so far, it's not looking too bad. The retail on this is 169 but as I say, I got it off Amazon for 124 which for a solar powered watch like this from a decent maker like uh, Seiko on a bracelet, I think isn't bad going at all. You'd probably have to spend an awful lot more to get an appreciable, better quality. Um, so let's just remove this little tag, because it's annoying me. And then we can have a look. And let's see if we can focus on there. And as you can see, this watch has both a day and a date. It's ticking away there. And I must say, I do like that dial. It's got a sort of striped design to it, a very fine striping. It reminds me a bit of a day-date Rolex in a roundabout way. Uh, but for the price, you can't argue with that. So the bracelet doesn't feel too bad. A bit rattly, even from you. But again, you can't expect luxury watch quality at £124. And the main thing is, it's going to be strong enough and tough enough to last him many years. And another good thing about this watch is it's very slim at 11 millimeters, which is pretty damn good, if you ask me, because uh, I really don't like thick movements and, and thick watches. So, 
let's just zoom out a wee bit and we can get maybe a better look at that on the wrist. It actually reminds me a little bit of the uh, <clears throat> 1980s GMT Rolex that I tried a while ago. It has a sort of similar feel to it, a bit rattly but kind of solid and you know it ain't going to fail even though it doesn't feel too perfect. Hmm. So obviously also and as you can see I've got a seven and a quarter inch wrist but they actually make this thing with plenty of spare links so if you've got a giant wrist you should be okay. I mean look at all that there. I probably have to take out at least two and maybe even three links to get that sized for my seven and a quarter inch wrist. So I'll roll in, not a bad start and as I say what I'll do now is I'll put this back in the box and I'll take some more shots of it tomorrow in natural light which I think will uh, make it look a lot better. And so here we are the next day, it's not a particularly bright day but it's the best we're going to get so I brought the watch upstairs where there's a little bit more light and hopefully you can see there the details of the dial. Uh, I have set the date and time, it was very easy to do, and I must say the crown did feel very smooth, um, no notchiness whatsoever, and yeah, it's a pretty nice watch. I'd also add that these solar powered quartz watches are very high tech, um, about six hours in daylight will keep this thing charged up for around about six or seven months, and even after that point in time, when the battery charge is getting very low, it will go into battery saving mode where the ticks of the second hand will either go to two seconds or eventually stop um, to try and preserve what little power it's got left. And then once you show it some sunlight, it will catch up with itself and start ticking again, which is pretty impressive. And so there's a very quick unboxing and a quick look at this Seiko solar power quartz watch. And now all I've got to do is wrap this up and get it ready for Christmas. So thanks for watching and cheers.